Welcome, this is VideoTutorial.net's SOLIDWORKS 2013 Essentials course. First, I'm going to talk about how SOLIDWORKS operates on your computer. I'm going to start at the SOLIDWORKS website. Let's go to Support, System Requirements. Here we're going to look at SOLIDWORKS system requirements and the graphics card driver. Let's click on SOLIDWORKS System Requirements. Here we see a list of operating systems that are supported by SOLIDWORKS and their system requirements. Let's take a look at the minimum hardware for RAM. We see 2 GB RAM as our bare minimum here, and actually this is barely enough to run the operating system like Windows 7, so my suggestion is to use at least 6 to 8 GB of RAM. Next, let's take a look at disk space requirements. You're actually going to need a lot more than this to run SOLIDWORKS and your data well, so get a few hundred gigabytes of extra hard drive space. Video card drivers we'll look at in just a second. Now let's check out processor requirements. A good starting point is i3 or i5 Intel processors. SSE2 support, that refers to Streaming Single Instruction Multiple Data Extensions 2, and these days all processors support this, so that's not something that you'll have to shop specifically for. A few words about a 64-bit versus a 32-bit operating system. 32-bit operating systems are slowly phasing out, and in fact you can't install a 32-bit version of SOLIDWORKS on a 64-bit operating system. The biggest difference when you're in a 32-bit operating system is the amount of RAM that SOLIDWORKS can utilize. You're limited to 2 or 3 gigabytes of RAM, in fact. In a 64-bit operating system, you can use virtually an unlimited amount of RAM. So if you're working with big and complex assemblies, you will definitely need a 64-bit operating system. Under Install Media, you see we need a DVD drive or a broadband internet connection. Below, you see the supported Microsoft products, Internet Explorer 8, 9, and 10 for SOLIDWORKS 2013, and Excel and Word 2007 and 2010 for SOLIDWORKS 2013. Let's take a look at our video card list now. First thing to do is select the computer vendor. I'm going to select any system vendor. Now the graphics card vendor. In my case, I use an NVIDIA card, so I'll select that from the list. Below is a list of graphics cards. The Quadro FX are older models of the graphics card, and the K4000 and so on are the newer versions of the Quadro card. I use an FX 4800, so that's what I'll select. And now let's choose the SOLIDWORKS version, 2013. My operating system is Windows 7 64-bit. And I've got two results. So from this window, we can download and install the correct driver. If you happen to be working with a video card that's not on SOLIDWORKS approved list, SOLIDWORKS will most likely still run, but some features, for example, the real view, won't be available. To read more about video cards, let's go to NVIDIA's website. Click on Product. Let's select the Quadro. And let me scroll down here. Let's select Solutions for Business. And here is Dassault System SOLIDWORKS. Click on that. Here you can read more information about the NVIDIA video card. And you can compare different video cards side by side. Now, if you're working on more than two monitors, it's a good idea to use similar video cards. Also, if you use SLI technology, it's got to be supported by the video card and the motherboard. You can link the video cards together with an SLI cable and that lets you share the memory between the video cards. 
If you're wondering if you can use two different cards like the quadro and the g-force, the answer is yes in most cases. But most likely you'll need to try a few different drivers. From time to time you may have some glitches, like a black screen for example. Here on the NVIDIA page, the Quadros are numbered according to their power, so the Quadro 6000 is the most powerful GPU. And so on. Let's get back to SOLIDWORKS now. Now before we get rolling, let me show you where you choose the graphics mode. Here's Real View Graphics, Shadows and Shaded, Ambient Occlusion, Perspective, and so on. If you still have problems like a black screen or a flickering screen, Go to Options, go to the Performance branch, and check Use Software OpenGL. Apply and close. Most likely this will solve your problems. This concludes our introduction to SOLIDWORKS 2013 Essentials.